a good boy. It's good boy. Those are good boys. Great. <laughs> Dude, put that thing back in there. Put that thing away. Jeez. <laughs> what? Always oh, talking. What? What is it? So that was our doggies. Boris and Rorschach or Rorschach and Boris. I have a longer clip, but my thumb turned the camera off. So. <laughs> and all the noise you're hearing, that is the highway because we live right beside the largest highway in Canada. Trans Canada highway. Goes from one end of Canada to the other. We live right beside it, so aren't we lucky? <laughs> you could literally drive right across Canada just following Trans Canada. Yes. Highway. So we see every truck and every car that goes east and west. We know what goes on in Canada. <laughs> and the noise makes me drink a lot. <laughs> what the fuck? Actually, I don't even hardly ever hear the noise. When we noise. first moved here, yeah, we were like you sitting in the backyard and it was just like <laughs> every truck that went by. Especially motorcycles. Uh... Yeah. Air brakes. Don't even hear it now, so. Yeah. Because I've got my skull mug of beer to get me through the day, eh? It's Friday. Yeah. Not that that matters to us, but no. I don't know. Something about Friday <laughs> it just makes it fun. Yeah, of course, because we don't have to work. Yeah, oh, we're done working. Done working. Now we can play. Daughter's gone out on a date with a lovely young oh, man. Oh, you're going to make all the suitors and young men cry. Well, and possibly some women. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I keep the shotgun close. <laughs> make sure that... Uh... Have you even met Sean? No, but I'm just saying I keep the shotgun close for other men. <laughs> couple of psychos are here and there yeah yeah oh well it's good to let them know that they should not feel comfortable here <laughs> and they don't excuse me son <laughs> what are your intentions with my daughter i'm gonna <clears throat> take her out get her drunk you know maybe because i used to be a young man once you know. too and we all know what it's like to be a young man we're all horny and we don't think with our brains like to be an older woman <laughs> yeah it's reverse it's a fly land on my head it's the same one I come know. on fly sticker do your job no he's too smart for the fly sticker <laughs> yeah. okay so we're going to do billy Connolly. yes so this is a terrorist attack at glasgow airport now no. this the quality of this video is not great because uh, they played a little bit just to see where it was and it sounds echoey so you're just gonna have to I think because it's a cam copy, but it's got six million views, oh, so everybody likes it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So everybody likes well, it. So. He's funny. Oh, I know. I love he's Billy. He's probably going to tell us any story. Yes. Is this like a true event? Or uh, I weird? guess, yeah, yeah. A terrorist attack at Glasgow. So mm. um, I think it did something like that did happen. I don't know the history of it, so I'll find out. Those we will learn in the comments. Terrorists. Yes. All right. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Billy Connolly, we love him. Glasgow, the, the, the Islamic fellas, just a wee while ago, the fucking, what were they fucking thinking about? <laughs> Bringing terror to Glasgow. <laughs> Bad choice, boys. Should have known better than that. They don't mind a bit of terror in Glasgow. And they heard you were coming, religious fanatics. They thought, well, I'm not sure about religious fanatics without a fucking football team, would you? <laughs> I saw the whole thing in New York on the news. I thought I would need an ambulance. <laughs> I have never laughed like it. <laughs> Fucking Egypt. That whole suicide bomber shite. It's it just, what a prick. No. <laughs> Do you know what I want to see just once? The suicide bomber instructor. Right, lads! Pay attention! I'm only going to show you this once! <laughs> yeah, that's right. You'll hear a whoosh! And then something will go over your head, resembling flying mints. That'll be me off for the 57 virgins. 57 fucking virgins you get. My arse.
house. What, what are you going to do with 57 virgins? You've just blown your balls off. <laughs> and what are you doing in Glasgow looking for 57 virgins? Uh-oh. He's from Glasgow. Yeah. I don't get it. There was a hero, John Smeaton, and I know him. Since I met him since, and he's a delightful man. He was a baggage handler at the airport, and he was out for a smoke. <laughs> and the Berlin Jeep showed up. Fuck you! 
Osama bin Laden lives in a cave, shits in a fucking bucket. Why are we scared of this prick? Oh, there's a new video. He's so scary when he were. Oh, I think he's being different. Oh, stop! Oh, he might come and break our toys. Oh, no! Oh, scary when he Oh, fuck it, oh, no. Fuck you, bin Laden. The next time he makes it, another video. We should get a video of John Sweeten and give it to Al Jazeera. Hell <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's funny. True, eh? It's like, why are you scared of somebody in a fucking cave who shits in a bucket? Yeah. Oh. Because the media wants us to be scared. Because somebody's providing them with weapons. And the government oh. wants us to be scared, so we'll be scared. <gasps> Shouldn't say government on here. Oh, oh. I just said it again. <clears throat> and we'll go, please save us from the bad men. I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was 72 versions. Does it really matter? Maybe it's a 72 foot Persian. Uh, Seven foot two Persian. <laughs> 72 foot Persian. <laughs> 72 foot. 72 foot Persian. <laughs> Seven foot two Persian. That means they have 72 mother in laws. That's even worse. <laughs> Could you imagine just, that? That's just fucked. Like, anyways. <laughs> I guess you gotta live there. <laughs> I guess you gotta live there. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. I think fundament how you grow up and how you're fundamentalists in any religion <clears throat> are, Excuse you know, me. fucked. Like, it's just they believe something. They're willing to die for it. They're willing to blow up the earth for it. They can all fucking go. So yeah, because the rest of the people are usually normal. You know. <laughs> I'm going to disappear, disappear from this conversation now. All right. That was funny, though. Billy Connolly. It was hard to hear him, but uh, yeah. it was good. But uh, you can imagine him, though, eh? being from Glasgow and yeah. seeing that on the news from yeah. New York. And thinking that was quite funny. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do with 52 version versions? You got no balls. <laughs> <laughs> you burn your balls off. You blew your fucking balls off. <laughs> yeah. So oh, well. It's funny how it takes that to make them want to do blow themselves up. Fifty-two virgins or seventy-two virgins. I don't know. I, I don't understand. It's the like whole they don't use concept myself. gold or yeah. land. <laughs> I guess they they believe in an eternal bliss with God, but it's like. <laughs> but don't forget the virgins. <laughs> yeah. So. And stay off the coffin. Now, that should be a red flag right there. I mean, anybody that offers you 52 virgins, I mean, God, God's a pimp at that point. <laughs> He's like the biggest pimp ever. 52 like, bitches, man. All yours. If you blow yourself up. Oh, my God. Just come on up and see me. I'll give you those it's like, he's God's up there with the sunglasses. He's got bling bling on. <laughs> Get out there, you bitches! Get out there! He's like, <laughs> look at this shit. <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> He's probably like Cat Williams standing up there, like short Maybe. little guy. <laughs> Just stand on phone books to smack a bitch. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh my god. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know anything about pimping. I'm a bald white guy in northern Canada. Most I can pimp out is a seal. <laughs> Maybe my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to love your pets. <laughs> yeah. All right, Billy Connolly. That was awesome. It's our first video of the night. So yeah. We're just getting started. Just wait till the last video. Oh, boy. We won't be coherent, as usual. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next time in the Brad and Lucy show. And if it gets Where we don't know what the fuck we're doing, but we love fucking doing it. Did I say that right this time? Tongue twister.